What is up, you guys? I'm China Connor, and it's time for week one of the ICL. Of course, the ICL is known as the International Championship League, another Pokemon Battling League that I'm part of. So this is week number one. I'm facing off against the Atlanta Bravery. I, I put out my last video, which was the analysis of the draft picks I have going on with the ICL, uh, and I also explained on who else got during the draft. So, uh, if you have not seen my last video, go check it out, and then you will be more aware of what I'm bringing to each and every battle here in the ICL. Okay, so we're facing off against Jesse. I already have the match ready to go. I will show you guys the match in this video, but before we get to that, let's go over my Pokemon. I am using a defensive Clefable here, Clefable the fairy type Pokemon. I am putting Stealth Rock here, Stealth Rock, to put some energy houses on the field. And I don't know why I did that, um, don't worry about that, but, uh, Skull Rock, and then Call Mind, Moonblast, and Flamethrower. Uh, the reason I went for Skull Rock on Clefable is because Clefable is bulky enough to live a lot of hits, and then I can get up my entry houses just like that, and I can also Call Mind up and then spam Moonblast, because my opponent's Pokemon don't really like Moonblast from Clefable. And then Flamethrower is there for coverage. I put uh, Unaware as the ability here over Q-Charm or Magic Guard. Um, I guess Magic Guard could work here in this scenario, but Unaware ignores other Pokemon stat changes, stat stages when taking or, or doing damage. So I guess Unaware works well this week. That's just me. And then, um, my second Pokemon here, uh, oh yeah, my EVs. So the EV spread here for Clefable is 220 in HP and 172 in defense. So that way I'm bulky enough to live physical moves from like Embor or his Scyther, because I know he has that, and then uh, his Kiram B. And then I put a little bit of special attack EVs so that way Moonblast does damage. And then I put a little bit of special defense as well, which actually ends up not mattering this week. So I guess it's good and all, but it's not going to affect the match whatsoever. So that's Clefable. Um, let me fix this real quick and then we can move on, okay? There we go, awesome. So, my second Pokemon is Swampert, the mascot of my team. Of course, Swampert is choice banned this week with the ability Torrent. Uh, he's got Earthquake, Rock, Slide, Waterfall, and Hammer Arm. And I gave it max physical attack and adamant nature. Uh, and I gave it 176 in HP, 80 in defense. I did not invest in speed at all. I would do it if it was a Mega Swampert, but I can't Mega Evolve Swampert. I already have a Mega on this team, so that's the set for Swampert. Choice Band Swampert hits really hard, so this is going to be good. Uh, Sharp Beak, Counter Flame. Uh, if you guys saw my in one of my seasons on the ILL, which was the Indigo League of Legends, you guys saw just how awesome Talonflame was. So Talonflame is back on our roster. He's got Sharp Beak as a held item with the ability Gale Wings, Brave Bird, Will Wisp, so that way I can burn opposing Pokemon on my opponent's side, Flare Blitz, and Roost. Max Attack, Max Speed, and 4 in HP for California there. And then my Mega is Mega Manetric, the ability Lightning Rod and as its regular form, and then I can go Mega and use Intigamate. So that's a great combination. Uh, Manetric is going to be very useful because of Intigamate. We also uh, would appreciate Lightning Rod if 
For some reason, my opponent's inferos, who he has, can go for a lesser type moves that can switch it on. But that is risky because Ampharos has a lot of coverage options to hit when I check with. I'm using Thunderbolt, Volt Switch, Swing Thrower, and Hidden Power Ice. Hidden Power Ice is there just for Mega Ampharos because Mega Ampharos is a dragon type when it goes Mega. And it's just overall good coverage. I gave it max attack, or max special attack rather, and max speed, and then four in special defense. I could have given it some HP investment, but that's neither here nor there. So that's Mega Manetric. I'm using Lipard, and I have not used Lipard before. Um, I was torn between Focus Sash or Rocky Helmet. Um, but I feel like the Rocky Helmet is going to be very useful this week. Uh, just for purposes there. And you'll see in the match I'm going to show you in this video that it's going to come into huge help. Uh, his ability is Prankster, so that means that Thunder Wave and Taunt and even... Well, actually, I think it's just those two moves there are going to get a plus one priority. So that means I'll go first, no matter how fast the opponent's Pokemon are. Uh, taunt, Thunder Wave, Knock Off, and Fake Out. Uh, knock Off is good because I can knock off my opponent's items off and they can't use those items. And then, of course, Fake Out is, to, is there for priority. Um, and then, of course, we have those two moves that I explained. And I gave it Max HP and Max Speed and 4 and Attack. The Attack EVs are there for Knock Off and Fake Out. So that's my part for you, and then of course, last but not least, we have a choice best X plug, which I don't actually get a chance to use in the match I will be showing you. But it has max special attack, uh, 248 EVs and HP, and 8 in special defense. The moves I have on it, uh, is Boom Burst, Ice Beam, Flamethrower, and Focus Blast, uh, Focus Blast is so risky, although, yeah, it's, I call it Focus Miss because I miss it like 100% of the time. Not really, but, you know, that's just how it goes. And of course, the ability is Scrappy and then Choice Best. So that's x uh, for you. So there you go, that's the roster for week one. We have Profable, Swampert, Talonflame, Mega, Manectric. Live hard and explode. And I guess that's it for the quick analysis. And now we're going to move on to the match. All right, look forward to that and uh, see you in a second. Okay, you guys. So this is the match between my first round opponent and then, of course, me, the coach of the San Francisco Swampers, playing our car. Although I, it says. PC 100 on Showdown, so I mean it can go either way. But anyway, so look at the team preview screen here in a little bit. Uh, we've got ourselves my team there, of course, and then we have to face a Ampharos, Ambor, Cobalion, Kieran Black, Cypher, and Weavile. So I did expect him to bring. Uh, when I was preparing for him, I was expecting him to bring Ampharos, Scyther, Weavile, and then, like, to a lesser extent, Ambor. Uh, so, that's great. I do have to be careful, though, because Scyther is actually really good and, like, it's really powerful if you let it set up. Um, I'm going to leave out with my Y part in a bit here. Let me, uh, start the match here. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, he is going to leave out with Scyther. I'm going to start with Lipard. Now, I noticed that Scyther can get Sword Stance, but I think my opponent predicts that. And look at that. The Rocky Helmet is going to come in clutch here because he gets to cast me twice and he gets hurt by the Rocky Helmet. I went for Lock Off there just because, well, it carries the EVA light most of the time, so going for that knockoff was appropriate. And because of that, I was able to go Mega with my Mega Manetric and then go for a Volt Switch. So on that note, we can hopefully set up our Stealth Loss, but we can notice that there's Cobalion out here. Cobalion is going to B 
be annoying. I didn't want to take the chance of him going for Iron Head and hitting Michael Fable. So we go and get Mega Manetric. He actually hits me in the close combat, and at minus one, that actually did a good chunk. Uh, but since he went for that, uh, his defenses are lowered. So that is Kobillion out of the match. So that means I can go with Swistothox. Right there, he missed an Iron Tail. That really sucks because Iron Tail would have actually knocked out my Fable. Uh, so now he's forced to go with an Icicle Crash, hoping for a flinch, but he never gets that. And so that means my Fable not only gets up its Stealthox, but we're able to go with a couple of Moon Blasts. Right there, he barely kills me with a Flare Blitz. I was really happy that Clefable was able to live it. So those defense EVs I mentioned in my quick analysis come in clutch here. Um, so seeing Embor, I noticed that it was probably Scarfed or Banded, and since he is locked in on Flare Blitz, I can just roost up with Counterflame until he dies. Uh, the reason I went for Roots the first time is because the Stealth Rocks are up, and Kyle Flame does not like that at all. Um, I figured I was faster against Kieran Black, but uh, he is apparently Scarfed. So that means that he is going to take out Kyle Flame, and it just, he hits himself in confusion if he hit me. That would have been the end of Swampert there. Uh, and actually, this is his last Pokemon, because we already took out five of his guys already, which is kind of crazy. Uh, I don't understand why he went for agility there. If he went for, like, a Dragon Pulse or a Thunderbolt, I think he would have actually won the game. But granted, I still have my Mega around, and then, of course, I had my x blood which I didn't use. So that only took like 16 turns of the match. Uh, if it was over Wi-Fi, I think it would have taken a long time in, you know, deciding our moves and such. But Showdown is a lot more quick, a lot more quicker in this regard. So I win this battle 3-0. I still have my Swampert, my Mega, my Nextrack, and x blood Everybody else is taking out on my opponent's side. Um, so that's the first week we won. We won week one. Haha. <laughs> okay, so that's the game. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it, uh, Jesse. If I can talk. I have a hard time speaking, so. Um, so yeah, there you go. That's the match. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, week two. I don't know who I'm facing, but I will have a quick analysis for my week two opponent, and then I'll have the match. Uh, just a quick update before I go, uh, my DS is broken, uh, the top screen is, like, broken, so I have to wait on getting a repair, or a placement rather, on my DS, so I can't access the Wi-Fi battles on my DS at the moment, so you guys will be seeing a majority of my matches here on out on Showdown, which is okay, because I've done Showdown before. So, uh, I was really upset about it, but, you know, having a backup plan is always nice. Uh, so, there you go. Alright, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you all next time. Have a great day, players. Bye.